Hi, welcome to ERP Next Tutorials. If you apply discounts on the item based on certain conditions, you can use pricing rule to define these conditions. In the pricing rule, you define criteria based on these parameters for the auto application of discount or margin. Let's assume a scenario where we want to give a predefined discount to a customer if they order certain quantities of an item. Enter pricing rule title. Select a criteria based on which you want to apply this rule. Let's apply a rule based on item group. If you select most parent item group, like all products, then pricing rule will be applied on all the items. Select exact item group here. You can check selling or buying, or both, based on field checked here. Select a selling criteria here. Let's select a customer. In these fields, enter the range of quantity for which this pricing rule will be applied. Enter the dates for which this pricing rule will be valid. Here, you can define your sales margin which will be applied on the price list rate of the item. You can use this feature if you are fetching items booing rate in the price list rate. Here, Select whether you want to apply the discount on the price list rate of an item, or reset the price list rate itself. Let's update discount. Enter discount percentage. If needed, you can also select a pricing list only for which this pricing rule will be applied. Let's save this pricing rule. If you have pricing rules overlapping with each other, you can set the priority for each of them. Higher the value, higher will be the priority. Now, let's check the impact of this pricing rule on transactions. This is a quotation for the customer and item for which we just configured a pricing rule. For now, there is no pricing rule or discount applied. Let me increase the item quantity based on the quantity range defined in the pricing rule. Now, you can notice that discount percentage is auto applied. Based on this pricing rule. If this field is checked, then pricing rule will not be applied to this transaction. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.